President Jimmy Bobson? Here. Vice President Templeman? Here. Treasurer Navarro? Here. President Jerry Teeley? Senator Belogi? Here. Senator Bell? Here. Senator Cantu? Here. Lanos? Senator Catherwood? Senator Copeland? Present. Senator Dyson? Senator Grimm? Senator Hart? Here. Senator Hickens? Here. Senator Jacobs? Here. Senator Hood? Here. Senator Dwad? Here. Senator Joe? Here. Senator Johnson? Here. Senator McDaniel? Senator McLeod, Here. Senator Muhammad, Senator Morris, Here. Morrison, Senator Aminas, Senator Nefrady, Senator Nagarajan, Senator Novak, Senator Parrish, Here. Senator Patel, Senator Rodriguez, Senator Rogers, Here. Senator Ross, Here. Senator Severin, Here. Senator Shocker, Senator Shurkide, Senator Sweetland, Here. Senator Thomas. Here. Um, uh, Treasurer Navarre. A uh, motion to extend the agenda. Okay, all in favor of suspending the agenda say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Any, any abstentions? Uh, uh, um, Treasurer Navarre. A <laughs> uh, motion to vote on the bylaws. Second. Oh. No? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> what would that do to the number, though? That would make it go up. But we've already met quorum, and I don't think it can. Right. So, but we still wouldn't have quorum because it'd be 26. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have 39 people. Two thirds of 39 is 26. It's, it's going to just. Wouldn't it even out? Like, I don't. Only oh. <laughs> <laughs> we would need to We would need to vote on. on <laughs> Hold on. If you add uh, people, the form of Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like it was Um, motion to open up discussion on constitution-based um quorums. All in favor of opening up constitution-based quorum say aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Anytime. Okay. All right, so Article 3, Section 3.11C says that the Senate has the power to remove any senator or officer in neglect of their duties by two thirds vote. So, everyone. <laughs> I actually don't, as far as voting power goes, that's y'all. That doesn't include BDB, if I'm reading that correctly. And that would just be so that, like, the reason I'm saying this is that this is the only option that we have as of today to maintain quorum to vote on the bylaws. Senator Ross? Um, first of all, can I ask the clarification on the process of nominating or like to Jeff Rubin, someone to be for the of their duties. Totally up to y'all. Go ahead. Uh, Senator Hicken, uh, is it two thirds of the people we have here or two thirds of all of them? Two thirds. It says two. It just says by two thirds vote. So it's two thirds of the people here, which does not include the, the executive board because this is strictly the legislative branch. So it'd be two thirds of the bill. Is that is that correct or not? Are we all or, yeah. or do we count since we're you're, you're a Okay. Uh, so Senator, Senator Rock. Motion to close the discussion and suggest mm -hmm. okay. uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Finish, finish. Motion to close the discussion and suggest <laughs> Nominations for removal of office for non neglect of their positions. Second. All in favor of closing the session and holding nominations for non neglected senators say aye. All, right. All those opposed? Any extensions? Okay. <coughs> the session is now closed. Uh, Senator Ross. Um, Never mind, I don't know how to solve it yet. I have somebody to know. Should we write to the number two on the dash? I have to say this for the record. Um, 
I don't think this. Yes, you do have the authority to do that. I did that by all of this route. And let's undermine the progress of the president for the judicial report. But if I do go there, I do have to concrete that. And that's unfair for those senators to have uh, your transaction form or whatever it may be um, that y'all may not be privy to. Uh, that's a fair point. So, I'll see that. Motion to open discussion over the removal of Daniel Rodriguez. Okay. All in favor of open discussion over the removal of Daniel Rodriguez, say aye. Aye. All those who oppose, pay attention. Okay, discussion is now open. Senator Hickey. So, we've already established that he hasn't come to any of the meetings since he's been sworn in, but has he turned in asking for him? Oh, he's not on the I'm just going to. I can abide by that. I have not received an absence form. All right. Um, is he on a committee? And if so, has he gone to his committee? I don't know if he's on a committee, to be honest. He should be on a committee. I have a sheet in my office. Wait, back to the I had a sheet in my office that had the ones that everyone signed up for the day that they sworn in, were sworn in. Um, but there was the section of time when we were trying to find a bigger room for SGAC. So I don't know if he signed up for that one and we told him to wait for a week. And then he may have like just never shown up for that at all. Um, but that paper is in my office. Senator Roddy? I can vouch that if he was part of the Student Affairs Committee, he didn't show up. So to go over kind of what Josh is talking about, we created judicial board for the sole purpose of what we are trying to do now because we couldn't meet quorum to do it. The original way in the Constitution was this way, but you, the only reason why we would need to kick people out essentially is because they're not doing their job, which is showing up. So it kind of defeats the purpose. We have enough people right now for just a small fraction of time to do that, but to make it worth our time, there would have to be two people. And I, can understand the thought process here behind Daniel because he has not been here other than the day he was sworn in. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily know if there are two people here that fit that bill. There are people who have turned in absence forms that are not here, which consist of one, two, three, uh, at least three of the people that are absent on the remaining four, I think. So I don't necessarily know when I came up with this in recess, that was just the only possible way that we could technically maintain quorum for today. American, so you're saying even if we remove Daniel, we still could lose quorum today? If we remove Daniel, we go from 38 to 37 in total members. That means that we would still need a probably Lead 24 people. 24.6. So we would still need 25 people. The second Sean leaves, we drop out of quorum. So we would have to drop it to people. Uh, so when he gets sworn in, would they just talk to each other? When, if, if we swear him in, um, so to clarify on the judicial board's process a little bit, they look at all the senators compiled absences, whether it's for committees, um, SGA events, or general assemblies, or any other events they have. 
So they have all the information to make these decisions. Uh, even we probably don't, like all com like, compile together and know all of it. So yeah, just be cautious about moving forward with this. Uh, can I get a clarification on the process of calling a like emergency special, special session of uh, SJA so that we can you know, not be two weeks behind? So 48 hours um, in advance, special session. Um, before we came in, we had a discussion of keeping it on Monday, um, but the platform could work for a lot of people. Um, so that is the call to special session. Okay. See you in the morning. Uh, Senator Thomas. Okay, so I'm not saying this is ethical or suggesting that we do it, but theoretically, could we remove a senator that's not here for basically no reason? Do we have the power to do that and then just reinstate them next week? No. <laughs> 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 yeah, they can remove them and appoint them again. As Josh is saying, the a reading says in neglect of their duties. Their duties is to show up here. So I would like, essentially, you have the authority to do that, but I agree with you on the fact that that's not necessarily the ethical thing to do. Yeah. However, um, Y'all don't have the power to reappoint them. Divya has to suggest that first, and then you vote on whoever she says to appoint. Uh, Senator Shepherd? We discussed discuss Jower on Monday. We could. We'd have to close this session. Oh, yes, we have to close the session. I'll send it off. Okay, so basically, I'm trying to get a draft of what you with. Basically, Sean's leaving, which would leave us below the So we were somehow able to get one more person here to the meeting. That would. So, Senator Ball, I'd be welcome. But not till 6.30, right? Yeah, are you going to be leaving the board? I mean, I told, I'm not going to be able to I told him to clock me out, not instead of Okay. We have two more. Uh, what well, does really seem like we've come to a consensus on Daniel? So, with that, I'm going to make a motion to close discussion. Okay, okay all in favor of closing discussion over Daniel Rodriguez's removal, say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, um, we will have not come to a conclusion of anything. Uh, Senator Jawad? Motion to discuss my Second. All in favor of discussing, discussing bylaws say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Uh, okay, aye. 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 All, of, all in favor of discussing bylaws, raise your hand, please. Okay, all those opposed? All those who abstain. Uh, the discussion is open. We have 14 people who did. Uh, Vice President Templeman? Motion to present because of Senator. Yes. I would like to present on the bylaws. All in favor of having Vice President Templeman uh, present the bylaws say aye. Aye. All those who opposed? Aye. 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 Any abstention? Uh, okay, any other <laughs> All in favor, please raise your hand. All those opposed? Okay, um, any abstention? Oh. <laughs> uh, motion has passed, and Vice President Templeman can or present the bylaw. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, make it quick. I'll go as fast as Alright guys, I'm going to go through these as fast as humanly possible. We've already seen these, so Josh, I need to pull up the QR code. No, we'll go through that because let's find this. We've already looked at these. Um, so, discussion. Now, now it basically comes down to do you have discussion? on content over any section. I don't do it. I'm gonna scroll for you. I don't think anybody <laughs> I know. Uh, Senator, do you have second. any questions over the actual content? Okay. Senator Higgins? Actual content? Okay. All right. So, sections to be aware of are Senator Projects, which is the creation of Article 4, Change to Dress Code, which is up here. <laughs> Right. Which is section, section 4 and Article 1. Those are the two main changes. Senator Copeland? Uh, Senator Mount Fresh, there was a, uh, a change in the rules for to be a senator before you run for a board position. Was that tomorrow? Thank you. I believe that was constitution. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was. No, I will step down now from presentation and I will Oh, yes. No, I presented essentially. This yeah. during my presentation. I understand. <laughs> I okay. Motion to open discussion over the changes to the bylaws. <laughs> All in favor of opening discussion on the changes to the bylaw say aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Discussion is now open. Senator Hicken? I like dressing up. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Roth? I think that you're discussing your kind of set the position of and the profession was holding you and the political part of the life. The last thing I'm going to say on the change to dress code is the fact that this isn't about what we feel likes the best, it's about who we're presenting information to. So when people like the president come in, or deans, and they have important things that they want us to come to, like come to our attention, we need to be on an equal playing field with them as far as professionalism. Because if they come in and they see a bunch of kids in t-shirts, they're not going to treat us with the same amount of respect as a group that's in the same attire and professionalism and like manner that they're in. That's my opinion on the subject, but I can understand why it didn't change this Number seven. I'd like to comment on that just, just because we're in college and we have our own I think if you saw that we were actually meeting at about 8 a.m., the student government association something that forward in some way or another. I think they basically look good on the property. I feel like the current dress code also. As to the appeal of, of maybe wanting to join and uh, SJA and kind of the development and, and skills that could help you uh, bring to your world. So that's one factor I think. Senator Bell? Yes, sir. Can we close discussion in the middle of 
So whether we do it or not, want this particular change in the bylaw, I motion to close discussion and vote on whether or not we want the dress code amendment. Yeah, yeah. So you can close discussion and vote on the bylaw. Okay. And then that. Close this motion. No other votes. Discussion. Any other part of the bylaws? Um, all in favor of Josh? No, I feel like the bylaws, you know, the Constitution bylaws is, you know, the two documents that help y'all operate as an organization. And a part of me feels that we're rushing this bylaws, we're worried about Florida, that's a valid concern. But these are, these are pretty important documents. And so, you know, I know we're trying to make meet the deadline so that we'll, we can get into the student body vote for next week, but is rushing it worth, is rushing it worth, um, worth it, essentially, rather than take the time to actually think about these and discuss them. So I want to throw that out there. Um, take it or leave it. I just I um, I just want to share that piece of uh, advice with y'all because these are pretty important and I don't want it to come off any hard rush. because uh, that's how I feel currently because we're worried about forms, but yeah. So say that we um like if we weren't supposed to vote on this like today, and then we didn't have time to go to next week. Would I guess would it be better to not put it on the ballot at all? Because then there's no way we can so further we just, it. We anymore. can send out another ballot before the end of the semester, or it goes to the fall election. Uh -huh. and we'll, yeah. All in favor of closing discussion and voting on the bylaw, say aye. 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 All those opposed. Aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> um, can I um, can I raise a hand for all those in favor of voting on the bylaws for the session? Okay, all those who oppose, please raise your hand. Any abstentions? Um. Discussion or um, motion has not passed. Um, Secretary, uh, Secretary, Senator Bell. So, what happens if this does get pressed back to? We no longer. Oh, we're done. Thanks for staying. Hi, Sean. Thank you. Um, Jacob McLeod was Senator of the month from March. Uh, real quick, now roll call. Secretary Martin, if you can dispense roll call, please. Secretary Boston, here. Vice President Simpson, here. President Navarre, here. Vice President Sealy, Senator Balaji, Senator Bell, here. Senator Kenzu, Senator. Senator Castellanos, Senator Catherine Wood, Senator Copeland, Senator Dyson. I got you. Senator Grimm, Senator Hart, here. Senator Pickens, here. Senator Jacobs, here. Senator Hood, here. Senator Gerard, Senator Job, Senator Johnson, Senator Daniel, Senator McLeod, Senator Muhammad, Senator Morris, Senator Morrison, Senator Ramirez, Senator Brady. Senator Navarajan, Senator Novak, Senator Parrish, here. Senator Patel, Senator Rodriguez, Senator Rogers, Senator Ross, here. Senator Severin, Senator Shaka, here. Senator Trofai, Senator Sweetland, here. Senator Thomas. Here. Hey. 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 Hey.
you know, negative things to send out a separate ballot for that. Because I mean, like, at the end of the day, I'm a person who took the. the, 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 the